is basically the inside of the little flash unit, the electronics board and the battery you can see. This is the battery. This is the large capacitor. This is the primary coil. This is the secondary coil. There's a little transistor there. Two diodes, one there and one there, and four resistors on there. And basically, basically what it is, it's arranged in a little op amp or operational amplifier through the transistor. And then the two coils act like a Tesla tune circuit. This is either a little crystal frequency generator or it might be a damping capacitor or tuning capacitor. What happens is the voltage from the battery stepped up through the windings of the transformers or coils as they're known which is used to charge the capacitor. Well, you're getting huge returns on your voltage. There's about seven windings on that coil and probably about one or two hundred on that one. And it's stepping up that voltage to charge that capacitor which then fires the flash unit and those contacts are made. Let's see if I can get the flash to work for you from its current position. You have to be careful because when the capacitor is charged, you don't want to touch those contacts because you get quite a shock or a bite off them. If you try this at home, be very careful not to touch the contacts on the capacitor or on the firing mechanism when the capacitor is charged because the voltage is that's stored up in that capacitor is quite high and you will get a shock off it. And just to demonstrate the point what kind of voltage there is stored up across that capacitor. What I'm going to do is make the contact on the back of the board. Which will charge up the capacitor. red light coming on, show me that it's fully charged and I'm going to bridge the contacts across there and I'm only going to do this once because I don't like electric shocks. See what I mean? You don't want to touch that when it's charged. This is what the end of my pen looks like after that little 
touch the contact experiment. As you can see, it's uh, almost burnt two holes straight through the end of the metal tip of that pen. Imagine the charge is that powerful that you'd be able to use it for spot welding. As you can see it's nearly 6 o'clock in the morning and I've been up working all night again as usual and I'm supposed to be catching a ferry tonight to go up to the mainland and uh, I'm knackered. That's my little video. Thanks for watching. Just to demonstrate the point. I'm only going to do this once. And it is quite powerful.